YouTube world, what's the deal, man? It's Drew Dawson. This is the Raw District Channel. Welcome or welcome back, depending on your situation. It's been a minute. You know, I had to step away and uh, get that balance together. I uh, had my first child in 2020. She's one and a half now. So, you know, it's still I'm still getting adjusted to life as a father. Uh, but yeah, everything everything uh, comes after that. And, uh, but we are back here. I got some big goals. I got some big plans. I'm trying to quit my fucking job through this YouTube shit. And uh, yeah, as you can, as you just heard, I cuss a lot. And I'm smoking a blunt right now. So what I need y'all to do is tickle the balls of the algorithm, put a fucking finger up his butt, rub its scalp, whatever, whatever you think it likes. Please help me out because that's the only way I'm going to grow this channel, man. I got a live podcast I do too. We, uh, we piss people off, you know, by just talking raw. And that's what it is. That's what this channel's for. But yeah, I'm going to go down a rabbit hole of uh, comedy reactions. Love comedy, man. Favorite comedian is uh, of all time is Patrice O'Neill. So off rip, if you know Patrice, you know the vibes. But yeah, we're going to jump into this. Let's not waste too much more time, man. Bill Burr and the bit is called Sick of Women Trying to Fix Him. They just get it. So I've been trying to learn, uh, learn how to fix shit around the house. That's what's filling up all this time of just being sober. That's brutal, dude. You have no idea how long a year is until you're stone sober. That's oh, fucking brutal. So I'm learning how to fix shit, right? My girlfriend doesn't like it because she says I have a temper. You know? She's like, you know, it's just not that you're trying to fix things. It's that you get frustrated, you punch the wall, the dog starts shaking. I just don't think it's a good idea. You know, you're a comedian. You should tell jokes. He's a plumber. He should plumb, right? Plumb. <laughs> Trying to explain to her that losing your shit is part of the process of fixing something. No, facts. Right? Everybody does that. You buy, right? Yeah. You buy something that I... I don't know if everybody does that, man. Some, some men are just built to fix things. I'm not one of those motherfuckers, man. I, 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 I kid you not, man. I don't know how to fix a goddamn thing. I don't know what it is. I can do all this. I can do shit on the internet all day. I produce a whole live podcast. Ask me to fix a smoke detector, and I'm gonna start sweating. You know what I mean? I, it's, it takes a different breed. Shout out to them, man. Kia, you get halfway through putting it together, you're like, dude, where the fuck is the fucking? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. But well, honey, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Why? Well, hey, you want to put it together? You want? Well, then you put it together. You put together this fucking particle board piece of fucking shit. These instructions make no sense. I will buy another one. I will buy another one. I'll buy fucking five and smash four if I want to. You don't tell me what to do. Bill Burr is like my spirit. I'll go to your mother's. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, what story are you going to tell? This one, right? Not the part about how I pay all the fucking bills, right? <laughs> how was that uncalled for? How was that uncalled for? I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to the fucking thing. I was talking to the fucking thing. Oh. I know what I said. I know what I said, okay? You don't need to tell me. I know what I said, yes. I am working on it. I am working on it, all right? Look, look, you think I want to be this guy? Bro, I've been in a relationship for almost a decade, and it's crazy how accurate uh, this is, man. Most of the arguments in relationships be dumb as hell, man, over the smallest things, man. They can start off with the IKEA uh, furniture, and they can end up... You know, we're going to pull this back five years ago, uh, and I'm going to pull up when you cheated on me. <laughs> That's how intense it gets, man. And it all starts with some stupid shit like this, man. You think I want to be the guy who flips out about the fucking tables? I don't, okay? This isn't who I am. This is who I became, all right? I'm working through this shit. You didn't have to speak. Well, you do shit, too, okay? You do shit, too. Well, I thought you were going to your mother's. That's that's no, brutal. I ain't having a temper, man. It's fucking embarrassing. You know? I don't know. I'm sick of women trying to... F Every girl I ever date's always trying to fix me. Oh, yeah. It gets annoying after a while, you know? Like you're not out of your mind with all your fucking shoes. <laughs> right? What is that all about? I'm sick of this hypothetical perfect guy. Go get him. Go down to Applebee's. Let me know what you find. Yo, this is facts, man. This is why I love comedians like this, man. Because they be hitting the nail on the head. Yeah, they, they expect, women expect you to have, you, you gotta be perfect. 
you know, to you got to be perfect to them. You got to be. And I'm in my 20s, man, and I I'm expected to have my life together cuz these women are going through the internet and they see these uh few examples of really successful people in their 20s and whatnot, man, and uh, they're few examples, man. That they're just a few. Facebook and Instagram and all that, they don't show you all the bum ass motherfuckers, all the motherfuckers who are struggling. All the mo- they don't show you those people. But there are more of those people. Just remember that. Okay, I've had it. I'm working, I'm trying. You go down and you get this Mr. Even Keeled all the time with his little fucking sport coat, right? <laughs> you, you live with that guy for a while, you know? Hey, honey, I'm home, how are you? Well, traffic was crazy, almost lost it, but thank God I had that book on tape, right? <laughs> Gulliver's Travels, always a classic, always a classic. That's the guy you want, straight across the board, hmm. even in the bedroom, right? Always making love to you, missionary style. I love you, your hair is like an ocean. <laughs> Never know when you like to be flipped over and have your face mushed into the pillows, you fucking psycho, right? Bro, they like that shit, man. You can't be out there having, I don't, I don't know, man. You can't be out here having gentle sex, man. I feel, I feel like all females, let me not say females because motherfuckers get offended by that too. I feel like all women, they want to get choked up. They want to get choked up, man. They don't want, they want it, they want it, it's fucking rough. They want hair pulled out. They want windows broken. Sex needs to be savage. That's what they like, man. Especially if you have a, uh, if you have a, a small dick, you got to really make up for it. You got to fucking, you got to go super hard, man. <laughs> Silence. Nah, she's right. She's always right. I do. I got to work on it. I hate having a temper. You know, I don't know if it's hereditary. I don't know if it's part of the country I'm from. I've always snapped. You know, my dad was like that. My dad's the greatest dude I ever met in my life. And he had a temper. Anytime anything broke in the house, five minutes into fixing it, he was bitching about his marriage. <laughs> It was hilarious. He'd see some bro. Oh Christ, will you look at that? God damn it, Billy! Give me that fucking screwdriver. I swear to God, I don't know what the fuck I ever got married for. <laughs> Thirteen goddamn years of this shit. Ah, oh, you're a bitch, lady. You've been a bitch for years. Give me the pliers. Yeah, most guys would have left by now. Most guys would have left by now. I use that line all the time. They wouldn't put up with this. <laughs> that was one of his catchphrases. Most guys would have left by now, and you don't know how fucking good you got it, lady! <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, I thought he was nuts. Then I got older, you know, started dating, I realized, eh, this guy's making a lot of good points. <laughs> He's not expressing them in the healthiest of ways. I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda, I'm kinda like jealous of the way my dad gets to talk to my mom sometimes, you know? Where are all those old school women you can just take your day out on? You know? They're extinct. When did they stop making those angels? <laughs> Who just knew it had nothing to do with them. They just sit there and let you blow out the lines, right? What a luxury. Right? To fail all day, you come home and download all your insecurities on this other person. How was your day? How the fuck was your day? <laughs> I'm out here making decisions. Take these kids away from me. Give me a goddamn drink. Oh, with the tears. Oh, uh, with the tears. <laughs> <laughs> then the bra burning generation came in, right? Now you get to sit there and listen to their stories all the time. Oh, it's the worst. You know what's the worst is when they're telling you a story and you want to listen, but just what they're talking about, you can't even retain it. <laughs> so I was supposed to go out to- <laughs> That's so true, man. It's hard as fuck to listen to their stories, man. Oh, my God. Especially at the workplace, man. Shut up. Shut up. Don't talk about that here, man. When you get off, get off. That's what I try to do, man. To lunch with Jennifer. I'm all ready to do that. I show up. She's there with Susan. She knows I hate Susan. I look like shit. Susan's been going to the gym. I mean, at that point, your head is like a newborn baby. You're trying to... (laughs) Trying to hold it up. You know? You can't, even if you're trying to pay attention, you can't. Then you just start staring at their mouth after a while. Like, I can't believe it keeps coming out. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> it's like, rrr, 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 rrr. It starts fading off. <laughs> you start thinking about your own life, right? Why did I take Nebraska giving 28? What the fuck is wrong with me? 
It's an away game. All of a sudden, our voice goes, it goes up. Right? And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, that was a question. <laughs> All right, now what do you do? Can't say yes, you can't say no, you gotta come with something neutral. Hey, what the fuck are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> it is what it is, you put one foot in front of the other and uh, you know, halftime adjustments, uh, got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't want to make my dad out like a psycho, man. My dad's the best dude I know, man. But, you know, I, I understand him, though. You know, he's like the exact opposite of me. You know, I planned out my life a little more, right? That's why I never got married. Never thought about getting married. It just looked horrific. It looked really difficult. It looked like a lot of them failed. Then if you had a kid, you have that whole weird situation, right? You got this thing that half looks like you, half looks like somebody used to love and now want to slap the shit out of, right? <laughs> Kids coming up to the walk, you're like, son, just look to the right a little. Let me just kind of cheat, but dad, I want to look at you. <laughs> nah, you can, all, I can, I gotta see you from the angle, the one angle. That's like my daughter, man. That, she looks like me from one angle. She makes certain faces and she looks like me, but outside of that, she looks exactly like her fucking mom. Uh, yeah, so that's crazy. <laughs> it's brutal. My dad was the exact opposite. Fell in love, got married, just started having kids. Had five kids by the time he was 33. Pre Oprah, pre Dr. Phil, pre Chicken Soup for the holy fuck. I got five kids. I don't even know who I am yet the pressure of that feeding all those kids man i'm telling you every three four days he would just snap just snap out of nowhere you know can you pass this all down you fucking bitch out the fuck every night for this bullshit <laughs> boom he'd slam the door have the car in third gear by the time he got it to the end of the driveway because a motherfucker wants silence man i'm telling you the older i get the more i realize man silence and sleep uninterrupted sleep that's important uninterrupted sleep so important. And as you get older, it gets more and more important. That and stretching. You gotta start stretching too. My mother would always do the exact same shit. Just lock the door behind him, turn around, look at the kids, and just be like, hmm. Man, he's just crazy. He's just a crazy person. What is wrong with him? Eight hours later, he'd show up, no apology. She'd have dinner ready. She messed it up, he'd give her a rough time. Christ, you cooked the shit out of it. I think I'll be a good dad, though. You know? I do. Yeah, so that's a wrap for that one, man. Bill Burr, one of my favorites. Uh, that shit is... Uh, that shit is true as hell, man. And like I said in the video, man, I've been in a relationship for almost a decade. You know, straight out of high school. Now I'm 27, and I've been in a relationship the whole damn time. And I, get, I got these problems early. Sometimes I'll be feeling like I'm uh, over 30 for real. I feel like I'm 47 sometimes just because of the, some of the issues that I relate to. And yeah, yeah. When, as you get comfortable with a person, as you get comfortable with a person, it gets very, very difficult because we're different human beings. It, it's hard to, to, it's hard to find peace sometimes in relationships, you know? But what you do is a beautiful thing. It's always beautiful. A lot of beauty and love. But, yeah, a lot, a lot of pain, too. A lot of stupid-ass arguments. Like, I would love to be just, you know, to forget to take out the trash and just have to deal with that myself, you know? Just in my head. Like, damn, Drew, you forgot to, you forgot to take out the trash. Just, you know, get them next week, champ. But, no. Nah, I got to hear it. You know, it's a whole argument that happens when I forget the trash. And that's trauma, man. So shout out to everybody everybody uh, who's in relationships, man. Keep pushing, keep fighting the good fight, man. And uh, yeah. If it gets too if it gets too rough, you know, tap out. You know, take a fall. If you're new here, man, hit that subscribe button. Uh hit the like button. Drop some comments in the comment section. The blood started hitting me halfway through this video, man. So my demeanor, my demeanor is probably a whole lot different than it was uh, ten minutes ago. But yeah.
probably not gonna do that again. <laughs> I'm gonna smoke. If I smoke a blunt, I'm gonna smoke that shit from the fucking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke that shit before. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all on this one, man. In the comment section below, drop some videos you think I should get to. I'm gonna try to get to them all. I'm gonna try to get as many done as possible. We're trying to get to 10k by December, man. Help me out. And outside of that, man, y'all stay safe. Be blessed. Hope I see y'all next video, man.